When you're asked to solve a quadratic equation, you have lots of options. One thing you can do is graph it and look for the x-intercepts. You could try factoring and use a zero product property. You could use a quadratic formula. You could complete the square. Or you can do what we're going to look at here, and that is taking the square root of both sides of an equation. This is a really useful technique in the following situation. So listen up. If you don't hear anything else, I hope you hear this. Take the square root of both sides if you have no b term. What that means is that nowhere in your equation do you have something that has an x attached to it. You might have x squared, x to the third, whatever, but nothing has like an x to the first power. Take square roots of both sides if there's no b term. I'll show you what I mean. Before we do that, let's talk about what you know about square roots. You guys know that 4 squared is equal to 16. It's kind of tricky because negative 4 squared is also equal to 16. So in our, in our problems where we're solving by taking the square root of both sides, sometimes you're going to get something like the square root of 16, but be careful. You're going to have a positive and a negative answer. The square root of 16 is equal to 4 and also negative 4. So when you're doing problems like this and you're taking the square root of both sides in order to solve for x, be really careful that you account for both positive and negative square roots. The last thing I'm going to leave you with is that this is different from that. Notice how here I have the square or the negative sign under the square root sign. This has no real solution. So if you have something when you're solving where you have the square root of a negative number, that means you're not going to have a solution, or at least in this class. You'll get to those solutions in your future math class. But for now, if you have square root of a negative number, you can just write no real solution.